But there's more. Framed. When Kaiba returns to Sig Vartis, he learns that he has been summoned to the court by Emperor Heshin. What's the meaning of this, Heshin? <laughs> I won't have to put up with you in your impotence much longer now, Kaiba. Explain yourself. The court will now hear the case against Kaiba for disobeying military orders. Stand up, Kaiba. I'm already standing, you asshat. The court will now hear testimony from Marthas, Governor of Military Affairs for the Imperial Army. Explain Kaiba's crimes to the court, Marthas. He took a rebel, rebel, ba, 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 bandit and had him join him and has been having him fight in the army ever since. As you wish, your highness. Even though Lord Kaiba was given charge of the Imperial Guard and tasked with protecting the life of the Emperor. During the battle at Eno, I witnessed Kaiba meeting and having secret discussions with a member of the Resistance. His actions are in a violation of Article 15, Paragraph 2 of the Imperial Military Regulations. The same regulations call for the execution of any person convicted of subverting the rule of our great Emperor. I ask that he be punished in strict accordance with the law. There's your explanation, Kaiba. Do you have anything to say for yourself? What a farce. This is so absurd, I don't even feel like addressing the charges. And I'm fed up with your insolence. You seem to have let the fact that you do well on the battlefield go to your head. So, Marthas, you were just looking for the dirt on the orders for his, for, on orders from his sheet, is that it? But you needed an excuse to get rid of me, legally. <laughs> Now I see why you were so useless on the battlefield. What a perfect role for a wretch like you, as she knew he couldn't leave the army in your incompetent hands. He may be a useless old bag of bones, but he certainly found the right job for you. You're the one making deals with the resistance. You never won on the battlefield. The whole thing was a setup. Ha! Huh. Only someone totally inadequate on the battlefield would come up with a story like that. Both of you, keep quiet. This is my. This is still my court. Kaiba, I will now pass judgment. You'll be stripped of your rank as leader of the Imperial Guard and executed at noon on the day of, after next. Your execution will be public. It will be a good reminder. That is all. Any last words for yourself, Kaiba? Nope. Other than to say that I'd like to open your skull and see just how much brain matter you're missing. <laughs> At least I know that I won't have to put up with your insubordination much longer. Don't get too happy. The excitement might be too much for your old heart. I'm sure a heart attack would be painful, even if you are just a program. Take him away! Yep. Seto! Oh my, oh my god, they finally learned how to say Seto! It's fucking ridiculous. You're here. Good. Is everything ready? Yep. Bone said he wants to come with us. Of course he does. We've got a way out past the guards. Our escape from Sig Varthus is all set. Good. Let's get going then. It wasn't easy, but Kaiba and company managed to escape from the capital and elude their pursuers. One person, however, was prepared for their escape. Marthus was waiting for them at Uravi Cavern Canyon. Uravi Canyon. Oh no! And this is the thing I'm ir irritated with, is that Marthas is still here. Like, why is he here? Great out, we never get him back. Spoilers. So it's like, just remove him. We don't need him. He's useless. Get rid of him. But no, we have to deal with him. So, onwards. We go into battle. Kaiba, you traitor, you are completely surrounded. If you give up now, I may spare your life. <laughs> As if I would ever believe that promise from you. The answer is no, I will never give in. Stop acting so tough. We have you vastly outnumbered. Do you really think you stand a chance? You are too arrogant for your own good. That's what I hate most about you, Kaiba. You have no respect for the Emperor's authority and rule. You're right, I have no respect for that old sack of bones. Why don't you shut up and attack already? I'm looking forward to yanking out that tongue of yours. Like I promised. You asked for it? Attack! I'll reward the man that captures Kaiba whatever he wants. Interesting. Alright, uh... 
Bones, why don't you... Head up here. I don't know where, honestly. And we will build up our strength here. Go on, Bones! Oh my god! We're being assaulted by a dragon warrior! Baby dragon, black and fire dragon, and armored lizard, which is close enough to a dragon. None of them have any items, nor any abilities. So... Nope. Wrong button. Black and fire dragon first, it's got the most attack. It will do the most damage, and I want it dead first. The rise of Mokuba here, jeez. He is the strongest member of my team. I know that's because I'm using a level 60 monster with my le two level 30. Well, my level 30 and my level, like, what, 8? But still, <laughs> it's pretty damn powerful. Even without using Gazelle that much. Like, Gazelle only does... 500 damage. Come on. Give me my turn. Cute little baby dragon. You don't stand a chance. Just three on one. Poor little baby dragon. Don't think you can survive four more attacks. Now I'm looking for a good monster to s replace. Uh, oh my god, my brain, my brain's just like completely blanked on what it's called. Holy crap. Crawling dragon. That was right. Keep up the good work, Mokobo. You got like three more guys to come at, come after you. Uh, Axe Raider, Ryukishin, and Penguin Soldier. Right? I always get Penguin Soldier and Penguin Warrior mixed up because they're pretty much the same. But they look slightly different. Only one of them is in the game, but I just couldn't remember which one it was. Also looking for something to replace Armored Lizard eventually. So it's interesting how this game decides to deal with mon different monsters and everything. You know, you saw that eventually, or originally we got Gazelle in Kai or in a Yugi's campaign. And here in the first scenario, or not here, but you know, when we played the first scenario of Kaiba's campaign, we got Burfamet. And so it's like, in order to use the fusion of the two of them, you need to have played both Yugi's and Kaiba's campaigns. And that's a lot of the, the same throughout the game. Like, there's, like, we only have two members of the Gate Guardian right now. And the third one isn't until the super secret special bonus campaign. And a number of other monsters that come in trios or in pairs that you need to fuse together 
or use power-ups together, like they can use combo moves. They're in separate campaigns from each other, so you can't just use their power right away. So it was easy with uh, Yugi being at level 1 and everything. Everything was level 1? We we're starting at level 1. But now we're starting with guys at level 30, and so it's a little bit tougher to get through some of it. So we have to use some of the stuff like the fusions to get through. Because you saw how difficult it was for Pega or for Kaiba to beat Pegasus. He couldn't do it because he didn't have the power of fusion on his side. Holy crap, Mokuba! Keep up the good work, Mokuba. You got like two more guys to fight. Just another clone of the exact same guy. Keep working hard, Mokuba. You've got this fight in the bag. Still working on my cowboy voice. Do, 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 do. So many levels there. Another one's coming, Mokuba. Keep on your toes. I think it's just, this is the last one, though. Don't worry about it. If you survive this, you can survive anything. Why are they always after Cassell? It's the damn unicorn horn, I tell ya. It must be rare and, you know, worth the fortune. Chop off a unicorn horn. I'll break through your guard. Why do you get another turn? Maybe it'll be my turn again. Thank you. Rip his throat out. Kill the penguin! It's too cute! It needs to die. Not your smartest move. Ryu Kishin, do you have any last words? I thought as much. Bombard him to death. I think they're all dead. There we go. Perfect. All right. I think that's everybody. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's get back to the game. Back to the map. The main overworld. Ah, yes, everybody's dead. Good job, Mokuba. Killed everybody for us. Holy crap, though, it cost us a lot of gold. So it's like over here or something, I think. Come, why don't you go over there? While we wait here for bones to try and find our monster. Hmm, that's not good. Unable to find him, eh? Uh... <laughs> Alright. My little brother could take one of you guys out. I think I can do it with ease. You show him, big bro. Shut up, Mokuba. I don't know that Kaiba can do it. <laughs> I have no faith in your ability here, Kaiba. Let's 
Especially because you're still using Soggy the Dark Clown with like 500 health in total. I mean, yeah, he's got 730, but still. Two hits from a good, strong monster. And that thing is dead. Soggy is screwed. I was afraid that Soggy would be next. Heal him. Heal him to full. Keep him alive. If nothing else, we will at least murder the Blackland Fire Dragon. We will at least, at least accomplish that today. There we go. Perfect. Our goal is accomplished. We could just leave now, but I kind of really want to kill him entirely. You need to do better than do that to prove yourself, Kaiba. I only set the Blackland Fire Dragon as a goal because I knew it was achievable. It was, it was a low, go it was a low goal for you to get. You know, it was an easy one. Set the bar low, right? But now, if you actually beat two, there you go. That that's setting the bar a little higher. Good job there, Seto. Good job. Now we just gotta fight him again and do it again. That should be easy, cause all that's left is the baby dragon with only a 900 attack or health. I found Alpha the Magnet Warrior in some ruins in the mountains. Now wait a second. Didn't we get Alpha the Magnet Warrior in the the circuitry? That was the one that I was talking about that I wanted to make sure it was Alpha. Gamma the Magnet Warrior has joined your army. Well, which is it? Is it Alpha or is it Gamma? Well, I guess whichever it is, I now have both Alpha and Gamma. Because I got Alpha and I got Alpha. So, I got the last one was Alpha. And this one was Gamma, or the last one was Gamma, and just was mistaken the Alpha. I don't know. But that's what Bones was doing out in the middle of the woods, was looking for a robot. Or well, a magnet, really. But it's a robot. It's a magnet robot. I only wish that Marcus were still on our team, because if he were, boy oh boy, could I show off the Magnet Warrior trio, because I think I now have all three of them. Because two of them were in Yugi's campaign, like I said before, and this one was in Kaiba's campaign, so you can't fuse them together unless you've played both campaigns, like I said before. Good job, Bones. Come on back. Actually, Bones, you know what? Why don't you go take on Marthus? You have the biggest hate boner for him. You know, I mean, he wanted to execute you. You should pretty much hate that guy's existence. I'll do my best to prove you guys, to prove to you guys that I deserve to be a member of your team. I do not know any voice to do for Bones. Because in the anime, he's like really derpy sounding. He's like, oh, boss, how's it going? I don't know. Uh, I'm the spooky zombie. <coughs> <coughs> Problem is that I think by the time Bones gets there, it'll have been five minutes and these guys will start respawning. Hurry up, Bones. You gotta hurry. You gotta move faster. I know you're dealing with a snake here, and she's kind of slow, but still, move faster. Damn you. Are you there yet, Bones? Have you made it? I want to make sure that they don't come back. You got the invitation to the Dark Sleep, the Illusionary Gentleman, and Reaper of the Cards. Is your monsters? No, stay back, I say. Don't come near me. I'm going to rip your tongue out, just like... 
my master wanted me to. I know he wanted to do it himself, but he figured that he was too weak to do it. Holy crap, the illusionary gentleman has so many actions, we're gonna kill him first. Good, he waited. So glad. Poison and oh my god! Paralyze, please. I think... I think... We were supposed to get a special... Thing going on in this scenario, but I didn't wait long enough for it. It's been a long time since I played. Oh my god, everybody's critting on the illusionary gentleman, and I love it! <laughs> it's the best thing ever! Okay, everybody's just critting! And it's fantastic! And another crit? Aw, oh, damn, I broke the streak. Crit streak. Well, he has no more attacks left. Oh, wait, I think I know. Hold on. Uh, check. Only monsters from the darkness can wear this necklace. If given, it, it gives attack a power up and inflicts heavy damage on spellcaster monsters. Fiend, spellcaster, spellcaster. So as long as any of my three monsters are attacking those two, they will crit every time. That's awesome. I never realized that. I mean, I knew that deep down. That's why I remember remembered it. But I had forgotten it before. It's like, oh, right. These guys are all fiends, and they are fighting spellcasters. So they do super damage. I did not even plan that when I sent Bones out there. I didn't expect him to kill him that easily and quickly. Vrafsen was liberated. Ah. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, we were supposed to wait, and then uh, Pegasus was supposed to arrive because he has a special guy with him. Goodness, my boy, you've already finished them off. There's nothing left for me to do. Pegasus, what are you doing here? I heard about your trial in Sigvarthus, and I rushed here as quickly as I could. But it looks like I am too late. More likely, you are far too quick. I didn't need your help. Marthus was never a match for me. You are now being chased by the Empire because you were seen talking to me. How very unlucky. Unlucky. It doesn't matter. I wasn't fighting for the Empire anyway. Aha! So my feelings about you were right, my boy. But none of that matters now. You cannot return to the Empire. It will be impossible for you to accomplish your goals by yourself. The Emperor will send the Imperial Guard after you. Why don't you join my resistance? We can help. Not that again. Thanks for the offer, but I don't like working for others. You dismissed my offer too hastily, my friend. I want you to be the leader. What? I may be a marshal, but I'm not an experienced fighter. I've been looking for a skilled new leader to help me defeat the Empire. I think you'll be perfect for the job. If you're like us, I'll happily give up the mantle of leadership to you. Why? I don't want the people I, I don't want the people of my land or anywhere on this continent to suffer anymore. The world could be a beautiful place, man and monster living in peace, where the trash needs to go first. I'm happy to lend my strength to help accomplish that goal. I know that you have your own goals, but you cannot accomplish them on your own. You need help, you will have that. I have a feeling that when you accomplish your goals, I will also accomplish my own. I do truly want to help. And also I brought my labyrinth ruler with me. All right, I will lead your army, but you'll get no thanks from me. We're both getting something we want. Of course, <laughs> the resistance is more powerful than ever now. Both my man, Labyrinth Ruler, and I will fight as you, for you as marshals. Please give us a chance. Isn't that right, Labyrinth Ruler? <clears throat> he doesn't talk much. Kaiba boy. Kaiba boy. Hard to do him. Pegasus voice sometimes. Lord of the Forest, we're not getting to him yet. We're gonna end it off here today.
Following the advice of Pegasus, Kaiba sets out to gather other powerful marshals for his new army. Spoilers! Kaiba, Kaiba's first likely candidate is the ruler of the deep forest of Inzum, located on the eastern side of the continent. Rumor has it that this marshal can control the forces of nature and has a substantial following in deep forest of Inzum. I wonder who that could be. Has a deep calling with nature? But we have Pegasus and the Labyrinth Ruler. And I'm changing the Labyrinth Ruler immediately because we don't want either of these. We're going to put in... Sanga of Thunder. And Sumijin of Water. And now we're just missing Kazujin of Wind. But yeah. And with that... We can now take uh, this one, remove you, and put in Zanki. But wait, you're saying Zanki doesn't really fit. He's a warrior. Item, use. Call of the Grave. And now he is the armored zombie. Give him a black pendant. And equip a blue medicine, and he's ready to go. But that will do it for us today, guys. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, become part of the conversation, and also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm DemonFire93, and I'll see you guys next time.